Hey everyone, Buzz Berline with Kingfisher Kayak Adventures and Team New Canoe. I'm in the tackle room today and I have a tip that might help you save some time and some energy on the water. And it deals with carrying a bunch of these around in your tackle box. Don't they take up a lot of space and a lot of time trying to move things around? Well, I think I have a better way to help save you some space. So if you're just looking for some leader on the water, I think there's a better way to do it. And you can do it with things I bet you already have in your tackle room. But before I give you this tip, please give a big thumbs up. Please subscribe. And if this brings you some value, please leave a comment. And in the meantime, stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is saving some space on the water and looking at removing these spools from your kayak. You know, these spools are kind of noisy and if you only need them for leader material, there's no reason to bring 200 yards of leader in your kayak. So instead, what I like to do is use these clear PVC bait covers they're very inexpensive. You can find four of them for like 10 bucks on Amazon. Now, normally these plastic bait covers are used on lures that have treble hooks like crank baits or jerk baits. But in this case, I'm gonna use the bait covers for leader line storage. The step-by-step -step process is very simple. You get these clear PVC material um, bait covers. Get a dry erase marker. Get your leader material. This is Seaguar Abrazex 15 pound. In order to identify in your bait cover packet, you're going to write 15 fluoro, and you're gonna write it on the inside of this packet. Dry it off a little bit. You can just leave it open while you're cutting off your leader material, maybe do three or six feet, depending upon, or more, depending upon how much you use, or you think you're gonna be breaking off in a, in a uh, particular place a lot, then do more. But I like to wrap it loosely around my hand. I don't do it tight. Kind of just tuck in the end around the middle there and put it on the inside, close it up with the Velcro on all sides, make sure it's nice and tight, shake it to make sure it doesn't fall out, which it doesn't. And the reason I put the lettering on the inside of here is because if it sits inside, it touches anything else, the dry erase marker doesn't come off. In addition, if I change my mind, I wanna use this packet for something different, all I have to do is tape a paper towel, open it up, wipe it off, and I can start all over again. So it's great. It works really well. And if I have all sorts of different other kind of leader material, like 20 pound mono, I'll do that. Here's 12 pound mono. Here's 12 pound fluoro. And now I have them in a nice quiet packet easy to put into a pocket or anywhere in the kayak or the tackle box without making a lot of noise. It's very efficient. Versus these things like noise makers, they're space hogs. Don't bring them along if you don't have to. So that's it. I hope this is helpful to you. I, maybe it's an idea, you know, a multi-use way to uh, be efficient with both your dollars as well as become an efficient angler. And if it did bring you some value, please subscribe, give a big thumbs up. I'd love to keep doing these videos, but I need to know that you're engaged out there and leave a comment. Tell me how you like to save space in your kayak. And thank you for joining me and I will see you out on the water. So you're not catching everything and Oops.